Hey guys, it's Paul and I'm back. This is a video on the J-Pine flight stick mount. So this of course is my flight stick. I got my throttle cordial over here. And in the previous video, a lot of great comments and a lot of good points made. Uh, people wish they could see them mounted to the table. Uh, and that's what I have down here. I had made some video on my desk upstairs, but my desk upstairs is temporary. It's a folding table. I did take some video, but I didn't like the quality, so I didn't include it in the first video. I kind of wish I had now. So what I wanted to do was basically a follow-up, show you some details on this. I've had this for several months, and well, I'll let you know the pros and cons. Are you ready? Let's go. Hey guys, welcome back. Well, first of all, my name is Paul and this is my YouTube channel where nerdy is cool. Big into 3D printing, flight sims, cosplay, you name it, I'm into it. So that said, if you have never seen me before, if you haven't seen my videos before, but you kind of like this one, hit the button down below and become a subscriber. I'd love to have you guys check out my other content. So that said, let's move on. A couple months ago, we did a review on these J-Pine mounts. They are very inexpensive. They're just extruded aluminum with mounts and assemblies that will uh, made up to your flight stick, especially the Thrustmaster line and others. And overall, I mean, I like these things a lot. Now, I got dinged on the videos because I didn't show these things installed on the desk, which you're right, I should have done. I had taken some footage, but I didn't feel it looked good. So I clipped it at the last minute. Now, as you can see, I have it here hooked up. It's been a few months, so let me tell you what I like about these things. First, I've noticed that this latch right here I didn't cover it in the first video, but you can see where this hammer, or this latch rather, the lever, comes up here and, and throws this and, and attaches it and makes firm contact. And you can, of course, adjust this any way you want. Um, initially, I wasn't sure if I could turn this because at first it was pointing over here, but I've loosened this nut up a little bit and you can get it there. And of course, using a good size gripper, you can tighten this up. So if you don't have enough room under your desk for this lever to close all the way, you can turn this any way you need, you know, within this range here and get this to securely hold to your desk. So that's cool. So let's go ahead and put this back on here. Now what's nice about this setup is it just clamps on. So what I can do, I can do the same thing with my throttle. I'll just throw this over here. We're locked and loaded and ready to go. Now, a chair like this has, of course, armrest. So, of course, with this guy being able to clamp and unclamp, you can make this wider. So, you can do one or two things. If your chair allows for it, you can remove the arms if that's what you want to do. Or if you want to keep the arms on your chair, if you want to be able to rest your arms on there, or if it's your office chair, or you just can't take the arms off of there, what you can do is you can space this out so that everything does fit. Okay, so a couple of the pros and cons. The stick, as I mentioned, uh, it's nice that you can clamp it in and out, no problem right there. Um, I wish they included the wrench <laughs> that this nut has right here. I'm having to use uh, one of the uh, kind of the gripper claws that I have, a giant plier, uh, to hold that in place while I, I get that going. So that's cool, and it's nice that I can move that lever to wherever I need it to be so that it's not hitting the underside of the desk. Now, there's a lot of interesting things you're gonna notice about how your stick is mounted here. On mine right here, I have these sharp edges of the end of the extrusion here uh, that is going to be jabbing and poking the heck out of me. Now, there's a couple ways you can get around this. You could either 3D print some sort of cover for this, if that's what you wanna deal with, or, the other thing is because everything here is basically T-nuts, what you can do is you could move these rails, loosen these screws up, move it a little closer and move this closer to the edge and it wouldn't be as much of an issue. So you have a lot of abilities to move this around and configure it the way you like. Now, right now I have this set up with the throttle out here and the flight stick out here which for example, the F-16 does. Now, if you're a real big flight sim nut and you wanna have the same kind of stick arrangement as the airplane has, say you wanna have this in the middle, so there you go. Now in my case, I've got these metal guys here ready to jab me right in the gut. So I would have to make some adjustments as to, you know, 
I can loosen these screws here, slide this forward, move the stick back, and that might be a little bit less of an issue. Now, the catch is that I can only move these so close because, again, the limits of the bottom of the desk, and I hope this shot is showing that uh, especially well. So yeah, so when you're flying the F-14 or the F-15 or other airplanes in DCS or pick your flight simulator, you do have the ability, of course, to clamp and unclamp wherever you want these. I've seen other uh, flight stick or flight chairs, I guess you can call them, where they do have where you can mount them on the armrest or you can have something that's center mounted. Of course, that'll take some time to change from plane to plane, but with these guys, it's just a matter of clamp and unclamp. And again, depending on your desk and the space you have, uh, you may or may not have these edges sticking out. Okay, so like last time, yes, I do still recommend these. I do like these a lot. The fact that I'm using down here in the shop, this is basically a kitchen table. So this is hardly the workstation choice to be mounting these on. But the fact that just by loosening up these screws and T-nuts and tightening and adjusting as needed, this thing can fit a folding table, a kitchen table, or whatever elaborate computer workstation you have that you game on. These things are priced at $64.99, and that's for one. So if you have a throttle uh, and a flight stick, then you're gonna need two. So uh, there's a link down below. Uh, that is an affiliate link that does help the channel. So if you use that, thank you much. That's it for this time. If you wanna see what I'm up to, make sure you check social media. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and of course the website is where nerdyiscool.com. I thank you guys for watching. I thank you guys for subscribing. And remember, this is where nerdy is cool. Take care. Uh, J Payne uh, controller mounts. Let's try that again. Uh, I need this cat in the world it comes down the stairs. <clears throat> All right. And you've already come unscrewed. Damn you. any of my cool videos and so what we're doing this time is we're following up on the J-Pine flight system. I kind of rambled. Let's try that again. Five, four, three,